What's going on, everybody? Keith Moore Jr. here with Boxing and Calisthenics. I have my boxing coach here, Coach Gary. We're going to be going through some drills today. We are here at Lights Out Boxing and Fitness in Wesley Chapel. If you are anywhere in the area, even if you're coming to visit, come check us out. I'll let Coach Gary introduce himself and kind of go over what we're going to be showing you all today. What's up, everybody? I'm Coach Gary. Uh, Head coach here, Lights Out Boxing and Fitness. And today we're basically just going to cover uh, some ground in regards to common mistakes that we see people do on the heavy bag. When they're hitting that heavy bag, they're going in. Uh, some of the mistakes uh, that we see. Uh, so we can just cover a little bit of those. All right, y'all know what time it is. Work time. Let's go. Okay, so today we're going to go over some common mistakes that we see people make while they're hitting the heavy bag. All right, so one thing uh, that we see is when people throw a jab, okay, we'll just go through different ones. There's a lot of stuff we can cover. We just want to cover a few things, okay? So here we go. So when we're jabbing, okay, Keith's going to jab. What we do is we see people hitting with the jab, all right, and then they drop. They drop the punch, and they return it like this. So we call it a drop return, okay? And you're open for a counter shot, especially that right hand. We don't bring that jab straight back, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and show the drop, okay? This whole side of his face is open, okay? And we see a lot of people make that mistake, even some people that aren't beginners, okay? So they'll drop this punch on the return, get followed with a right hand, and sometimes it's lights out, okay? So now what we want to do, you say, okay, well, how to correct that? It was simple, okay? So when, when I used to fight, uh, my coach, he would teach me uh, to, when I would jab, I would, first of all, when you jab, make sure that you're turning that jab over. Don't punch it flat. Make sure that you're getting rotation here through the elbow, okay, so that the punch turns over, all right? The knuckles turn. You don't want to just be punching straight, punching flat. Okay, and you want that shoulder to raise where that chin, okay, is covered, all right? So you want that jab to snap. You want a good snap in that jab. So you want to make contact and bring it straight back. So it needs to come home, okay? Doesn't it need to deviate and go off somewhere else. It needs to come straight back home on that straight line, okay? So what, what you tell me is jab, make contact, and tip the hat. Okay, so I'm going to throw my jab, boom, and then I'm going to bring it back quickly. See, I'm just going to tip that hat, boom. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that, all right? Good. Great. So what we're gonna do is let's do a single, single jab, good. All right, so we don't want, I wanna make sure, he wants to be sure that when he shoots that jab, go ahead, shoot that jab, boom. When I come, if I come back with a right hand, he's gonna be covered, he can catch that shot, okay? It's not gonna eat him on that face, all right? So that's one, okay, so that's good, that's good. So that, that, that's, a, that's a big one, okay? A lot of times too, is telegraphing the punches. Instead of coming here, and throwing the shots, okay, here, and throwing the shots from the shoulders, okay, getting that rotation, shooting those shots, all right, we're going to do something like this, and then go, okay, see this all the time, see them moving the hands, hands move, boom, that, that's telegraphing, you're, plus, with boxing, we're talking about time, you have like a split second or less, to get these shots off. And so when you're working and you're adding extra time, okay, here and then my shot's going out. Mm -mm. Anyone that sees that, that has some skill, because they didn't capitalize on those opportunities, okay? Maybe you get away with it sometimes, okay? But you want to learn, especially as a beginner, you want to bring everything back quickly, bring it back sound to where your chin is, okay? And you wanna make sure that you're getting those punches off without a lot of telegraph. You don't wanna be showing me that that punch is coming. So when you throw that jab, you wanna make sure you don't have to be all shaky and stuff. You just hear, here, nice and calm, 
Okay, boom, when you're ready to throw, it just comes out with that step, snap that punch out. Okay, let's go. So we don't want a lot of dropping, see, here, and then throw even just little, little things. I'm gonna throw an uppercut and I do this, that little twitch. Mm -mm. Okay, we wanna go ahead and make sure that we're, we're turning, okay? Good. Good. Okay, so again, we don't want to do a lot of extra flinching, extra moving when you're throwing your punches. And that's sometimes what we see a lot of is even, again, not just beginners, but people that may be doing this for a little while. Um, maybe you're a fighter and, you know, you just got some bad habits. Sometimes guys got some bad habits. They're able to get away with it sometimes, but then there's that person you're not going to be able to get away. Uh, you know, you keep making that mistake. So crowding, crowding the bag, crowding the bag. Your punches, you're throwing straight punches and you're throwing them from here, okay? Or the bag's here and you step deep, step all the way in. We don't know our range, we don't know our distance, okay? So this is a good thing to work on is your distance and your range, especially when you're dealing with straight punches. You don't want to smother the bag. You don't want your straight punches smothered in here. You want them extended, okay? So as this bag moves, I want to move my feet so I can keep this bag in front of me, okay? And get full extension, turning my punches over, all right? And not smother those punches because you'll see people also taking these big giant steps, okay? And here's the bag, it's moving and all of a sudden, see? And now I smother my right hand, okay? Because I stepped in too deep. When... All I got to do is if I know my, my, where my range is, see, I'm here, I'm going to hit there, boom. And I just turn it over. So I'm just right here and I'll just turn it over. One, two, okay? Could throw my two from here, okay? And I adjust my feet as I need to, okay? And I may poke out my arm here just to find my range, see? Boom, all right? And that's what you want to do. You want to establish a good distance, a good range, because you got ranges in boxing, okay? You got... You got uh, long range, mid range, and then you got that short range where we're gonna be with hooks and uppercuts. So you're gonna get up more up close and personal with your opponent. So again, if you look at this bag like an opponent and not a bag, okay, this will also help you mentally because you gotta think this has arms attached to it and it's moving, so it's like a moving target. If you treat it as such, then you also work on your defense. You also work on your foot movement and not staying too close uh, to him, moving in, moving out. Because remember, box is about hitting and not getting hit. Okay, so boxing. All right, we're not talking about just fighting. We're talking about boxing. And it's purest form. You want to hit and not get hit. Swim and don't get wet. All right? So let's go ahead and control that distance. Good. See? See, and you just work those straight punches. Yep, there you go. Don't smother them. That's it. Good, good. And that's enough. All right, everybody. So thank you to Coach Gary for coming to show us tips to avoid for beginners on a heavy bag. But as Coach Gary said during the video, these are not only mistakes that beginners make, but people of all levels make this mistake. So please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Be sure to follow Coach Gary on Instagram. Information will be on the screen. Follow the camera guy, the man behind the camera for all the videos. Eric, his info will be in the description as well. Now catch you on the next video. Work time. Let's go.